All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to explore a very nice platform called DeepWiki. So DeepWiki is a simple platform, but very powerful, that allows you to be able to understand what a repository is like, right? So when you come back to DeepWiki, which is created by Devin, there is also an open source format of it in case you want to use it. You can just see different uh, repositories here. If I click on, let's say for example, like uh, VS Code or Langchain, it uh, picks the uh, URL, the repository, and gives you a very nice wiki about it, right? As you can see from here, you can change this one in case you don't want it in this format. And then you can explore it, right? So this is a summary of the entire repository, which is very useful. You can easily ask questions about this, rep about this uh, repository, which is very useful. And there is this nine system component diagram, which is very useful to understand the entire architecture of the repository, right? How the different system or platform is working. So what the code base looks like, right? Which is very useful. So you can see from here, this is, I think it's, I'm sure it will be using Mermaid and that's design this wonderful graph out of the box, which is very useful, right? So you can know how Lang graph is working. Now let's see something that is trending now. As you can see, you can get all of this information. You can just ask the different, um, you can just go through it, which is very useful. It helps you to understand the code base and you see the entire system architecture, which is something very useful in case you want to understand the whole code base, mostly it's very useful with the system architecture. And then you can see the relevant sources, source files that are available. And you can also see the deployment, how to deploy this entire stuff. And it always gives it the test form together with a diagram form, right? Which is very useful, right? So, so you have a big picture of it. Let's try it with the newest in town, which is Gemini, right? So I'll go back to Gemini, Gemini CLI, which is a new one. So we'll be trying it later. I'll just copy this and I'll go to DeepWiki. I'll go back again to DeepWiki and I'll paste it here. And then let's see if it works. So let's go back to DeepWiki. <laughs> The moment I pasted there, you see that it was there already. <laughs> it has been analyzed, right? Very cool. And this is the entire Gemini CLI on DeepWiki. Let's see the architecture and let's see the general overview. So this is how the package is like. You can see the most relevant files there. So mostly these are the markdowns, which is interesting. So this that means there's a node package because there's a package of JSON. Let me make it bigger. And then let's see some other stuff there. So this is the high level work system architecture. So you can see that the Gemini CLI has a configuration system, which has the load CLI config, config class with some settings. Then there is the UI layer, which is in app.ts TypeScript, application, main application component, there is an input prompt with user input handler, message display component. So this is the main system, right? The main architecture, the high level overview of the CLI, which is very cool. We also have core processing, what it does. Then, okay, so now it talks, so this is just the UI. There's some core processing and it talks to the Gemini API. There's also MCP service and some sandbox. Okay, that is how it works. So you get an overview of how the code base looks like, which is very useful. Then you can also ask, you can go, go throughout to see the package structure, the CLI, because there's, a, there's also a CLI, so package CLI. Then there's a source directory, this, this directory, the package JSON. Well, this is useful, right? You can get an overview of the code base, which helps you in case you want to understand what is being done. And you get the core capabilities, the tools. So there's some built-in tools. So we have read, read file, write file. There is test processing, shell configuration, right? So let's see if I can ask. So yeah, provide usage, right? So let's see. Okay. This is interesting. So now it's giving us the usage of the entire stuff and it scans the entire stuff to give us the usage of it. This is very useful, right? So it's, it's kind of the entire stuff. Give us a basic usage of the entire stuff. So this is how to Install it in case you have NPX. In case you don't have NPX and you want to install it globally, you can just go with this install. This is very useful, right? And you can see 
from within the is this is the summary right from the LLM but this is the actual source from where it is right so that you can actually click on it in case you want to know where it is in a test it's like RAG right retrieval augmented generation which is very useful right cool and you see the entire essential wow so this is very useful so this is how to use it so there's help there's tools so let's see so later on we'll try it right so it's give us a very useful way of answering this right you can copy response then put it somewhere or you can just use my extension right which is very cool then you can also do deep research dig, dig deeper right very cool so let's let me see how do you use it with Olama local LM? Let's see if if it can dig deeper to see it. So this, I'm sure it will not have any information, but let's see if the system is able to dig deeper to give us. So it's thinking. I wonder how much compute it is. One of the things I, I, I like about LLM is very useful, but sometimes I feel in the future we are going to have the core structure, the core substance behind every LLM that makes it think. And then if you're able to extract it from every LLM, that is the, the greatest breakthrough. And because you cannot have just four gig of <laughs> RAM on your system just to process something. If you have the core logic that makes every, every LLM sentient, then you can just use it on any other application so that is taking some time right <laughs> cool so that is a uh, deep wiki which is a very useful platform so you can see that it gives you more insight about whatever tool or repository that is available i can also try it with any repository and mostly it works for private repositories right so as i go here so these are all the ones that have been scanned and then there is some from hacking face low dash long chain express js there is some from SQLite. Let's see if there is some for DeepWiki itself. <laughs> Let's put DeepWiki inside DeepWiki. Let's see if there is something. Oh, okay, there is DeepWiki, right? Of course, there is DeepWiki, Yamaha GitHub DeepWiki. There is so many DeepWikis. Oh man, <laughs> everybody's trying to do DeepWiki. Right, so this is analyzing itself to see the overview of it. So this is how the entire workflow is. So you get a repository, it points to GitHub Wiki. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> okay, that's something I want to share with you. I hope you have learned something. So this is a very nice tool. There is also a local version that you want in case you want to use it. It's still analyzer. Yeah, so thank you for watching. See you another time. So this is a very nice thing about DeepWiki, which is very useful. Thanks to Deep Sky. So this is the official website. I don't think this is the official. I think this is the official. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think this is the private repository. In case you in case you also you have a private repository you also want to um scan, you can also sign up here, which is available. Yeah. And then let's see one more stuff. Yeah, that is it. Right. So a dick wiki provides up to date documentation that can help you talk to for every repository in the world, right? perfect this is a very smart idea very smart so you can even use the same idea deep wiki for deep wiki for npm right in case you have npm package or yeah if you have a node package but re github is okay you can also put, do, do it for gitlab let's try if it works for gitlab so let's say gitlab i've not tried it but i hope there is something for gitlab uh, gitlab Yeah, let's see if it works for GitLab training. Remember some time ago when everybody moved from Git, GitHub to GitLab. Let's see if it works. Yes, so now it cannot work, right? So I think maybe in the future they will have to have deep wiki for GitLab, right? For now, GitLab does not work and bit package and stuff. So thank you for watching. See you another time. Stay blessed.